Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. My name is Katerina and we are halfway through my 12 cards for Christmas series. Today I'm making a card with a gift card holder. I'm using a die to die cut the gift card slots and I'm using a very old stamp set. I think this stamp set is at least three years old and I used bits from the stamp set uh, before but I never used the mittens and for the card I wanted to make today I needed some mittens so instead of buying a new stamp set I decided to use this one. I don't think it's anymore available but I will leave some alternatives in the supply list below in the description. So let's get started. The die I'm using is from Lawn Fawn. it's called Simple Gift Card Slots. There are two dies, uh, one makes the slots diagonally and the other one uh, creates slots on each side of the gift card. There are many dies for gift cards, but I wanted something super simple where I will be able to add the gift card inside of the card and outside as well. And this die is exactly what I wanted. The die is meant for landscape cards, but I wanted to create a top folding vertical card. That's why I needed to do some measuring. But once you have that figured out, the rest is really easy. I die cut my cardstock to A6 size, that's the European size. And the way I measured it, first I needed to decide where I want to have the card and how far from the top I want it to be. Next, I figured out where the middle of the gift card is. Then I used a pencil and I placed the die about 2.5 centimeters from the edge of the panel and I marked it with the pencil on both points of the die. I secured it with a tape so it doesn't move and I ran it through my die cutting machine. And then I did the same on the other side. I hope my description how I made this uh, makes sense but if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask in the comments below. After I had both slots die cut I used the stitch rectangular die from Create a Smile and I run it through my die cutting machine as well. Next, I stamped sentiment from the stamp set with the mittens. It's a sending warm wishes and I used diversifying ink in onyx black. And then I stamped the mittens using the purple ink from MFT. My trial card had red mittens, but I didn't have any Christmas gift cards. I didn't want to buy new ones, but I had a purple gift card from H&M. So that's why I used the purple on the mittens. After I stamped the mittens, I used my scissors to fussy cut them. I actually have the coordinating dies and I don't really know why I bought them. Fussy cutting is so much easier in this case. Next, I adhered the mittens on the cutout slits for the gift card. Little tip, try to move out the slits a bit, then it's easier to put the gift card in. But before I attach them on top of the panel, I first uh, cut out a little bit of baker's twine and I adhered it on the back of the mittens uh, to join them together. Then I adhered the mittens on top of the slits using little foam squares. Usually I add the foam adhesive on the back of the die cut images, but in this case it was easier to add the foam squares on top of the slits instead of the back of the mittens. Then I took another piece of twine and I tied it into a bow. I just think it needed something extra. After I was happy with the look of the bow, I used the multi-medium adhesive from Ranger and added a dot of glue on the bow so it doesn't come loose. If you watch my video with the card number 5, I used the Krabby Christmas stamp set from Clear Besotted and I thought that the crabs who are fighting over the Christmas cracker will be perfect on this card as well. So I decided to try it out and I really like it. I did the same thing. I added foam squares where the slits for the gift card are and adhere the two crabs on top of it. If you want to see the coloring of the crabs, check out my previous video. I will leave it in the description below. Also, you can find the links at the end of this video. Anyways, I used a double-sided tape on the back of the panels and I adhered both panels on top of the card bases. I used a card base from a craft cardstock and then I used my gift cards and slid them in for the purple mittens, I had the purple card from H&M and for the card uh, with the crabs, I fished out uh, my old iTunes gift card. I think it matches perfectly. I thought both cards are finished, but then I realized I wanted to add some newer drops. If you're like me and often manage to mess it up, uh, what I like to do first 
I do one or two drops on a scrap paper before I put it on top of the card. And I'm not the best when it comes to embellishments. I never know where to add them and how many, but I think it works. It's not the best, but I think it works. I also added one dot on the bottom of the gift card. Although the cards are pretty much secure there, you never know. I wanted to be sure it doesn't slip out. So this finishes the cards. I hope you like them. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and hop over to my blog for more inspiration. All the links are in the description below together with the supply list. On the screen right now, on the left, uh, you can select the Christmas card from the day 6 from last year. I did a little bit of ink blending while leaving the stamped image black and white. I really like the result on this. And on the right side, you can check out the card from last week where I colored the little crabs that I used on the second card in this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!